What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to another episode or video, or whatever you want to call it. Hungover in Hong Kong, Prozzy edition. <laughs> uh, last night I did that live stream, but before I did the live stream, like I said, I was with Brown Eye's wife, who is a, a lovely woman, but loves to drink, and um, I'm incredibly hungover, but I'm in this amazing hotel. I don't want to sound, uh, you know, not genuine or anything like that, but I'm not used to this kind of, this thing. Check out this view of Hong Kong. Now, I don't come to Hong Kong very often, just because I, I never really had any friends here, and now I do. Uh, but look, I mean, this place is incredible. Check this out. That's the view from the hotel. I don't know where any of this is. So I'm gonna take a quick shower, meet up with Brown Eye, and we're gonna go on the hunt for poutine. If you don't know what poutine is, Stay tuned. So I finally met up with Brown Eye, uh, who's picking me up in his, his Tesla. Well, you haven't, I guess your driver. What is his name again? Edgar? <laughs> Igor. 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 <laughs> Igor. Um, and we're gonna go grab some poutine together, which is exciting. You brought your son along. You told me yesterday that he also likes poutine. Yeah, poutine. Yeah. For I th 150 years of in Canada, you know that. It is, a, it is appropriate to eat this. I mean, you know, again, like you said, it's Canada Day. You gotta eat Canadian food. Um, I, I think I've only met one Canadian that didn't like poutine and, and what? Eat it. we don't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just telling, I was gonna indulge my audiences for a moment. We've got Rolls Royce, uh, Mercedes Benz, BMW, BMW, Porsche, another, I think that's a Rolls Royce actually again. And then there's about 400 Teslas down here. Yeah, 401. <laughs> 401 <laughs> Teslas. Hong Kong, not a place uh, for poor people if you want to drive around, for sure. <laughs> I mean, these cars are kind of, I'm a bit of a car guy myself, so I'm yeah, kind of, awesome. I'm nerding out down here. So this here is the pride and joy of all Canadians and uh, our food. And it's more of like, a, I don't know. It's not like a full dish, it's like a side people yeah, usually eat, right? And it's just uh, fries, cheese, and gravy. So if you've ever been in Canada, you gotta, you gotta have it. So I've filmed probably what, like two, three episodes with you so far, and I oh, haven't yeah. released a single one. Cause every, and one of the reasons is because every time I see a view that you show me, you're, I'm like so humbled by it. It's amazing. I never get to see stuff like this. But this is Hong Kong Bay, I guess. It's incredible. <sighs> just a slight problem here. I was gonna film with Brown Eye, and then I looked up from my phone and he's gone and now I'm lost in just a sea of Filipino people and protesters. This is not ideal. Okay, so I found him, thank Christ, because I have no internet on my phone because it's a mainland phone. But uh, we were supposed to pick this park because it was like a nice, quiet place to come and vlog yeah, and, right. and talk yeah. about stuff. Great idea. But we forgot about Xi Jinping being in town, which uh, means there's a, quite, you know, there's pro-Beijing protesters, pro, uh, you know, Hong Kong protesters, yeah. and for whatever reason, a shitload of Filipino people. Yeah. Which is really weird. Tons of Filipino. Yeah. No, the Maybe atmosphere is interesting, yeah. Yeah, that food was really good that you gave me there, the poutine, but I'm so full and I'm just waiting for my fucking heart to stop. <laughs> I don't know how people in BC can eat stuff like that. But yeah, no, at the end of the day, guys, like, uh, there's so many things I can think of that I'd rather be doing than filming a protest, so. I think we're gonna go do those things. Yeah. You'll have to excuse the audio, I forgot my microphone in your apartment. So you've magically found this boat to take us to an island somewhere. Yeah. Interesting. I'm still not totally sure what's happening. I just got up and now he's on, now we're on a boat. So the magical place that uh, Brown and I took me ended up being uh, this awesome, I guess, again, there's another yacht club, I guess. But the food was really good. That stuff, I, again, like, I mentioned this at the beginning of the video about, like, me just drooling over stuff that I can't get in Huizhou. You know yeah. what I mean? So coming here is, like, unbelievable. The stuff that you can eat and do, you know? Mainland I'm glad you're just, enjoying it, you know? Really. I'm having a blast. Thank you so much for showing me all of this yeah. cool stuff, you know? Um, I can't wait. You are going to Canada soon. Yeah. Can't wait for you to come back so that we can uh, we can hang out. Hang more. out and do some crazy shit. Yeah, <laughs> do some crazy. Yeah, I mean, again, guys, like views like this is just. Uh, I mean, I guess for me, it's almost like once in a lifetime type thing. So the only way, like, to and from this island are these like boats here. Yeah, um, the, the same one as we smuggle you to mainland China <laughs> yeah, exactly. and smuggle you back. Yeah, that's so cool. There's not like bridges or anything to this island. You have to take these boats, which yeah. is pretty interesting. I think the uh, poor guy that owns this boat right here is going to come to a bit of a rude awakening when he finds this boat underwater. I'm pretty sure, I was just telling you, Brown, I'm pretty sure it's taking on water. So it's just sitting there slowly sinking. 
So speaking of things I'd rather be doing, we're going to go watch the uh, fireworks celebrating 20th anniversary of China's yeah. takeover of Hong Kong yep. uh, at the, what is it called? The Royal Yacht Club of Hong Kong or Royal something? Royal Hong Kong Yacht Club. Very cool. Yeah. Security is uh, understandably tight. intense and yeah. tight. Yeah. So this is going to be pretty cool. And it's not pretty, it's not crowded here. I don't know why. Probably because it's a private club. <laughs> might, that might have something to do with it. Me and Brown Eye uh, just finished watching the Hong Kong fireworks, which is really impressive. I mean, those, those fireworks are dwarfing like neighborhoods of, of Hong Kong. It was just an absolute show, uh, really, really impressive. Learning how to drink champagne the fancy way it was really cool. Yeah, we'll Got to clear my palate apparently before I take a drink. Oh, but, yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not used to being around the type of people that are uh, here and the whole thing that's going on. But yeah, so far, Huge amount of fun. I can't really cheers you because you never yeah, drink, but we can try and guys. there you go. So now that I'm all, you know, fancied up yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm an upper class citizen, <laughs> what separates this British yacht club from the rest of the normal every man's yacht club? Yeah, this is the, they stay like the, from the colonial days to now, mm -hmm. like they still have this culture. So it's all British inside. And uh, before when I was a kid coming here, there weren't any Asians at all, except the people working here. So nowadays there are more Asian people after, obviously after the, uh, the British left Hong Kong, so. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm sure everyone can relate to uh, the troubles of a British yacht club in Hong Kong. Yeah. I'm sure it's. <laughs> but no, 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 but they still carry the name the Royal Hong Kong Yacht Club. Yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't want to change it they, to like. They said they are not changing it, period. Right. Yeah, so. No, I mean, that was a hell of a time. I mean, Bottles after bottles of champagne and <laughs> and and beer and and that yeah. amazing view of uh, the Hong Kong, you know, the bay and and the fireworks and everything. Twenty Today minutes, nonstop. Twenty it's minutes. Twenty minutes, nonstop, just blowing shit up. <laughs> it was incredible. I mean, this view is amazing. We're not done. We're gonna go back to your place. We're gonna eat some delicious food that you've been nice enough yeah. to cook. Yeah. Continuing on to more of whatever the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> so, Brown, I, what exactly? Uh, what's going on here, buddy? Uh, we've made the best prime rib available, uh -huh. and I'm just getting my knife ready, and I'm gonna pick out. Nice. Cool stuff. I'm glad I'm not gonna get cut, because it's kind of like, you know, Brown is showing me like this amazing night in Hong Kong, and now it's like, say goodbye to your pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> so you know your meats quite well. Oh yeah, definitely. Right? So this is a well marbled. Yeah. Well, how did you label this meat? This is prime. Prime cut. So prime is the... 1% of the meat available in America. Yeah. So that's the top 1% of the meat. It's not every day you even get to work with meats like this, but just to yeah. see it, I mean, it looks... That's a top grade. That's the best marbling meat you can possibly get. Looks good, and I can't wait to try it, dude. I, I just wanted to stop that video really quickly so I can I can talk about it because I'm not totally satisfied with what I've done here, and that's for a number of reasons I want to go over. The first reason I'm, is that I'm just not a very good vlogger. I'm not good at taking like a, a, a regular account of you know, what I do during the day. I'm just not good at that. If I don't have something to talk about or something to do, I just, I don't know. I'm not good at making these like transitional Casey Neinstadt type thing, kind of like this. Like, oh, I'm downstairs and you know that because I just filmed it. <laughs> you know, I can't, I have a hard time doing that because it just doesn't seem real. And I think a big part of the reason why you guys watch me is because I ha you know, who I am in, in my videos is exactly who I am if you were to meet me in real life. And that's, you know, I, I think that's my kind of shtick and I didn't achieve that in my last video. Because I was just a little bit kind of uncomfortable hanging out with the people that, you know, I was with. Because I was talking to people that were beyond rich, like that have way more money than I'll ever have in my entire life, which is cool, but it's just so hard to relate to people. You know what I mean? Like they were talking about how, you know, like they just bought a Bentley or something and I'm over there like. Yeah, you know, it was incredibly hard to uh, relate to them. So I do apologize that video came off a little bit. Um, odd. I was a bit off my game, I think. But anyways, I do want to give a massive uh, thank you to Brown Eye for showing me Hong Kong. No one's ever shown me Hong Kong quite like that before. 
had a huge amount of fun. Go check out his channel. He also did a video about our time there, which I honestly think is better than mine. I'm not sure when that's going to be released, but uh, stay positive. Catch you in the next episode. Keep your stick on the ice.